for the most part I don't talk about, so it's very unusual when I do. And on the 25th anniversary, I was debating what to do about just recognizing that it did happen. When I, I figured he was joking, and then he told me it was four police officers, several of them were veterans, and so I, I paid a little more attention. And so I reported that to start with, and then it just kind of went from there. That was a lightning rod. Every day the phone would ring off the hook and it became very, very cumbersome after a while. We had 3,000 sightings by the time I quit counting. That's just based on telephone calls and people meet me in the street and say, I gotta tell you about what I saw. And they were police officers, veterans from military, politicians, uh, a mayor who's no longer with us now, he had a sighting. I was driving up the street with my, my wife and daughter and we see all these kids out of a Floyd County school bus were pointing up in the air and jumping up and down. And I looked up and there's these aircraft. And I put my elbow on the car so I could stop my camera down as low as it would go and shot the four different pictures of aircraft that were obviously four different aircraft flying in formation that made no sound. And there was probably 200 people that watched them fly over. So that was kind of the, uh, I'd say, watercrest moment because after that everything just came in like a flood. And a lot of people came to look at them and then eventually somebody actually stole a negative out, out of my home in rural retreat. For whatever reason, I do not know. And I would get people calling me from all over the county all times of the night because that time my phone was published and they called me and said, will you come look at this? And then I had a phone call from a gentleman who said that uh, they would shut me up. They had done something to his child and his child had died. It got so bad, my wife took my daughter and moved in with her mother because we couldn't get any rest. They rushed me to the hospital when they, uh, in the Unsolved Mysteries that's featured, and it was just stress and exhaustion. It was a real tough time in my life, you know, and it wasn't something that if I had to do over again, I would probably think very hard on whether or not I talk publicly about it.